Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Countdown to Infinity and Avengers podcast. Well, we just wrapped up our mini season going over all of the announcements from San Diego Comic Con and D23. Uh, it's so much that we talked about. Uh, we're, I mean, I, I want to go down a list, but it would be too long. And we just did a bunch of podcasts about it. But uh, So we will be taking a small break and we'll be coming back to talk about all the MCU stuff as they release. Um, there's some really exciting stuff coming out on Disney+, Plus, which is just now a month away. Some things for the MCU uh, in Disney+. Plus. I mean, a lot of you have probably already earmarked the time that you can buy it. Some of you may have already bought it. I, myself, for the podcast, we we have already prepaid for three years of Disney+, Plus, so we definitely will be back in your feeds once the uh, new shows centering around some of the Avengers comes out. I don't know if we're going to go episode by episode, if we're going to go a couple seasons. But I, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we are definitely going to be talking about uh, the all of the stuff that's on Disney+. Plus and, of course, all of the Phase 4 movies that are going to be coming out in the next couple of years. We, we haven't been too uh, out there with all of the Spider-Man stuff going on. We didn't want to contribute to... I don't know, Sony or Disney side in that debate. We, we still think that there may be time for something to settle out. It's only been weeks since the uh, since the big reveal that he is no longer going to be a part of the uh, Disney uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. But there's plenty of other uh, MCU stuff we'll, we're looking forward to. Who knows if, if, if the next Spider-Man thing is going to count. Um, who knows? So definitely stay subscribed and review the pod because we will be back. Um, but if you have noticed the last episode, it was me and Sophia, who is fantastic. And we really had a fun time recording that episode. But if you notice that John and Andrew haven't been on the last episode, or I guess they've been on the other ones. So they've only skipped one, really. Um, but if you've noticed that, that's because they're working on a new podcast with me, a really exciting one called Countdown to Skywalker, a Star Wars podcast. We're pretty much doing exactly what we did for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but for Star Wars. We're visiting a galaxy far, far away. So this is an episode where we're going to share with you the trailer for that season. I'm um, sorry for that whole entire show. It's Countdown to Skywalker. It's really exciting. I know there's probably a couple people who, I'm not just a couple, a lot of you probably enjoy Star Wars just as much, or if not more, or just a little bit less, uh, as you enjoy the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, they're both Disney properties, which people have brought to our attention. We are not just a Disney podcast. We definitely talk about all kinds of movies, but... I think Rise of Skywalker, and we definitely think, John, Andrew, and I think that Rise of Skywalker is going to be a really big deal when it comes out. The conclusion to three decades, worth, th four, maybe even four decades worth of cinematic storytelling, the end of the Skywalker saga, saga, um, not the last of the Star Wars films, but the the ultimate and the final Star Wars thing. So um, we're really excited to be talking about The Phantom Menace, The Cl Attack of the Clones, Solo, Rogue One, uh, everything, Empire Strikes Back, even The Last Jedi. <laughs> Ooh, that'll be exciting. Um, so Countdown to Star Wars, I'm uh, sorry, Countdown to Skywalker, a Star Wars podcast. So here's how you can listen to it. We're definitely going to play the trailer for you right now so you can kind of hear what it's about, but it's very similar to this um, show that you're listening to right now. We even have some of the same guests. We definitely have new guests. Uh, we've changed up the format a little bit, but we de we have a fun game still. Someone will still win that Camry or what was it? 2004 Corolla, Ugh, 1997 uh, Buick or whatever we, we were giving away. It's still up there. That car is still able to be won. Um, but uh, yeah, so a lot of the same things uh, for this show. So you can already listen to the show. I believe the week that this comes out, Phantom Menace is out. Our Attack of the Clones episode is out. We've recorded Revenge of the Sith. And this week we're doing Solo and Rogue One. So all of these shows are coming out weekly on our Patreon. 
I'm going to give you the link, but but if you're not going to subscribe to the Patreon, uh, hold on. Okay, we got news for you too. But uh, so uh, if you go to patreon.com slash delphinpod, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash D-E-L-F-I-N-P-O-D, it'll be in the link too. You can listen to all of these shows already. We have exclusive episodes there too, but you can listen to the trailer and Phantom Menace right now. And what we've found out by recording these podcasts is guess what? We have so much to talk about in these episodes. We these episodes are an hour more they're two hours long pretty much each of these episodes are close to the length of the star wars movie that we talk about but we watch for we watch every single star wars movie from phantom menace all the way to rise of skywalker in december it's really exciting and, and really really fun stuff if you do not subscribe to our patreon and support the pod it's okay uh it doesn't mean that you won't get to listen to this podcast you'll just have to wait a little bit because here's what we're announcing the public release of this podcast will be on October 7th. So I believe the first week of October, there will the show will be live, which means you can subscribe to it already. We'll definitely be back in your feed to talk about it. But October 7th, um, all the way till December when Rise of Skywalker comes out, um, we will have Countdown to Skywalker out publicly for everyone even if you're not a subscriber on patreon but if you don't want to wait um you can go to patreon.com slash delphin pod and start listening to these shows because they're gonna already start coming out and as a special thank you to all the people on patreon we right now have five episodes of countdown to skywalker that is planned to be exclusive so Here's just a rundown of some of them. Uh, so these are only going to be on Patreon. So even if you're on Patreon and you're like, what, you're going to be releasing it publicly? We are, but you're going to be hearing these exclusively. We're going to talk about some Star Wars video games, Star Wars comic books. We're going to talk about the two Ewoks movies that most people don't even know happened. They're TV movies that George Lucas oversaw called Ewoks Caravan of Courage and Ewoks The Battle for Endor. Um, we're going to talk about the Star Wars Christmas special and a bunch of other fun videos and stuff. So if you're a Patreon subscriber and you like Star Wars, you'll be getting all that stuff. Um, the only other thing I'll say about our Patreon is we actually just announced on there a new show called uh, Countdown to Infinity, I believe the next phase. It comes out every couple weeks where we talk just about MCU news. Um, but yeah, that, that's on Patreon too. And of course, a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, so again, for everyone, if you want to support the pod, it goes a long way. We're really grateful for it. We've been doing this podcast for a couple of years for Freezy, um, paying for all of the stuff. We have now a cool studio that we get to record in, um, and uh, we've had, we have such a, a really fantastic audience from around the world, um, so we love putting this stuff out there, um, but if you want to support the pod for as little as a dollar a month, you can listen to Countdown to, to Skywalker right now, and then there are different tiers, too. So, uh, we're, we're sending stuff to a lot of people as well. Cool. All right. So without further... Let me see if there's anything else. No, no, no. Oh, keep, yeah, keep updated at Delphin Pod. Um, to stay updated with all that stuff. But without further ado, here's the trailer for uh, Countdown to Skywalker, a Star Wars podcast. Stop. Please go to Patreon, please. I suggest a new strategy. Only different in your mind. No, you're on. Okay. No, I said you turned mine up. Oh. Like on the headphones, they got louder. What are we calling this? Countdown to Skywalker? Are you guys cool with that? Because what is it called? Rise of Skywalker? The Rise of Skywalker. Countdown to Rise. It's called what? branding. Why don't we make fun of that on the podcast? Are we going now? Sure. Welcome okay. to Countdown to Skywalker, a Star Wars podcast. This is our very first Countdown to Skywalker or The Rise of Skywalker? I guess Countdown to The Rise of, the Skywalker? Rise of Skywalker. Or just Is that Skywalker? too long? That that does sound a little weird. The you Rise of Skywalker already in, in itself sounds like a dumb title. It's so. already 700 letters. Um, and to the listeners, this is a irrelevant conversation because you're looking at it right now and it's on your phone. The title. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> not, not, No, no, no. Not this podcast. Yeah, Please like, don't you can't look at the podcast. throw away this podcast. <sighs> I imagine people listening to it and then throwing their phones away. They're like, oh, fuck this. Disposable. Yeah. 
Uh, phones. My name's Emmanuel. I am Andrew. Hey, I'm John. And we are so excited to talk about the Star Wars uh, with you. So here's what this podcast is. If you haven't heard our other podcast, Countdown to Infinity, a Avengers an Avengers podcast. podcast. I almost forgot. I know. So long ago. Uh, and then Countdown to Spring, the the Game of Thrones podcast. We mm-hmm. do a lot of counting down. We're we're we're, we're, we're what people call mathematicians. Math magicians. <laughs> math magicians. Um, and we watch, and then for, for Countdown to Skywalker, we're going to watch every single Star Wars movie. So it's going to be called Countdown to Skywalker. Then. Yes. Okay, cool. Sure. Yeah, Countdown to Skywalker. <laughs> we watch every single Star Wars movie starting with episode one. Uh, we're, then to episode two. Ooh. And you guys get the gist, or should we keep going? No, I think and they then get the gist. followed by Return okay. of the Jedi. I <laughs> know. We're going to go all kinds of different ways. Everywhere. One and we're, one. Yeah, we're going in the order that we think it should have gone. So, <laughs> I think Like a we, Tarantino movie <laughs> cutting back and forth. So we're doing the order, basically, like in order chronologically yeah. of the timelines that are yeah, depicted in the movie. Yeah, yeah. We'll just, I think, yes. have more fun, and it'll feel like Ooh, they're getting better. That's debatable. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll build. And we'll, yeah. end, we'll end with Solo, obviously. Well, and uh, then we also <laughs> wanted it to be, you know. Oh, Oh, wow, yeah, we would have ended. We with wanted him. the last Jedi to be the last one, and the Rise right of Skywalker before. be the be yeah, the exactly. actually last one that yeah. we do. So and it makes fun. Cool. Uh, it it makes fun. It makes sense because if you're thinking chronologically, then you're thinking of the characters who are still around. Like uh, there are characters in the original films, like uh, for example, shit. This is not a good start to the Star Wars podcast. Like, um, I was going to say Han Solo, but he's yeah, not around. Yeah, I know. Like, he's you know, gone too. Like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's around from the original. Lando. <laughs> there you go. Lando. Lando, yeah. yeah. Lando's closer to R2, the- R2, D2, uh... and C-3PO. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that too, but he's also they're also in all of them. Yeah, they're correct. the main characters of this franchise at this point. Protagonist. Um, but before we get into it, before our first uh, movie episode, Phantom Menace, I just wanted to ask you guys, what is Star Wars to you? What do you think? Good? Bad? What- is it? I'm just kidding. What did you guys? Uh, how did you guys first hear of Star Wars, and what was the first couple movies that you saw? I think there's probably just gonna be one. I mean, there's it, different there's answers. Just one like, instance because we literally both grew up together in the same house. Um, yeah. I guess we were introduced around the same. You know, obviously at the same time. My dad um, purchased a um, uh, VHS collection. Yeah, VHS of the trilogy. trilogy of the original Star Wars movies um, before the special of. You know, before the special edition came out and everything like that. Yeah. This was like, you know, back I think in 94, 95 that the box set came out. I was only two. Yeah. And I was, um, you know, um, we had watched them. My dad bought them and they watched them I thought them you were going to tell us what your age was, John. Oh, no. I was older than two. Um, I was 64. <laughs> I was just about to get uh, Social Security. I was in elementary school. I can't remember if I was in like a new... It was around maybe first, second grade around there. Um, but I do remember my, um, my dad bringing home those movies in like... I think this is the only instance where this has happened. They binge watched them like all as a family. Well, like, you guys had... binged them before binging was a thing. Yeah, and we had to. Well, I had to fall asleep before, um, you know, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So like, I only got to watch that first one. But apparently, like everyone stayed up and watched all three of them that night, and I thought it was like really cool. I'd never seen those movies before. I actually had seen them like bits and pieces growing up because I think um, if anyone remembers, like you know, um, I don't know if this just San Antonio or something, but like you know, on Saturday. Saturday afternoons, they would play like movies like on Fox 29 or like on. Um, uh, and they played Star Wars? They played Star Wars That's at one insane. point. That's well, Because well, I remember also, seeing. Also, Star Wars, the first one came out in 77, so it had already been out. They were for like quite kind of just repeating. Time. Yeah, and they, I think that at one point they played Return of the Jedi because I remember watching imagery of like Luke getting shocked, and that stuck with me up until I watched it again on VHS. And so that was basically our introduction to Star Wars. After that, I mean, I think we, me and Drew both feel kind of different about the franchise, but I think we still kind of like it. Um, and then it just goes on. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just because, like, I think we have different favorites. Like, oh, you I know. see. Right. So, like, um, or like, we prefer different aspects of that universe as opposed to other, you know, other elements. One of you likes the aliens. One of you likes yeah. the humans. John loves the Bothans. I'm uh, more of a midi chlorian. <laughs> um, Your favorite character is the midi chlorian. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And then, as everybody else knows, the prequels eventually came out. And um, yeah, we're well, really big into that as well, too. It's really interesting yeah. because I think uh, our, because we're sort of similar in age, we have this weird thing um, where we knew of the originals but lived through the prequels, prequels mm-hmm. coming out yeah, and them exactly. being huge. Um, and so we're kind of like uh, in this middle ground of, of not – like I didn't line up. To go in on the on the block to see Star Wars and have my mind blown because I've never seen anything like it before. Right, right. Um, 
I'd seen it something like it before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's kind of <laughs> crazy because as we talk about the prequels, I think that we tend to be a little bit more favorable to them in some way because – as Ooh. Yeah, no, I well, was like, no way, you, I guess. No, just but I'm you. saying obviously now we think differently. But yeah. when you were a kid, sure. those movies were fucking – fantastic they were and they and were just good and you'd love the fights and you dressed up like you know no i like, liked them they weren't good <laughs> yeah like, you know you loved them and you were reenacting things you memorized things that they said um which is a different experience if you were only exposed to the originals in theater oh, right and then, right uh-huh. i don't even know what that, I, that feels well, like and i'm just so glad that like I, that my first star wars movie wasn't a prequel so yeah. i had seen the other ones and that's the only reason we went to go see these because we knew of the legacy that they had before yeah. And um, I think my parents did, like, exposed us to a lot of different uh, movies and stuff like that. But Star Wars was one of those things that I think really, really stuck. Yeah. You know, I remember sitting, like, right next to my dad and, like, almost in his lap. And we were watching the um, the, the interview. The the, yeah. Oh, the, the George Leonard Lucas Malton. interview. The Leonard Malton Leonard has, a, Malton has, has an, an interview right before. Yeah. Wow. And so, like, I remember that down to, like, a T. And I was like, damn, like, they're actually, like, talking about, like, the, the movie and, could like, you guys, facts. And, you know. Could you guys read at the time? So that slow crawl? Or no, was I, he, like, reading it to you? Could, or were you just like, I don't yeah. care about this? I, I could couldn't read. read. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think anybody did it, though. Like, they just knew that, like, oh, like, you know, it's not, like, right after the 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 credits or whatever. It's not it's nothing interesting, you know. Yeah. Or, or, you know, it's boring. So it's just a staple of the Star Wars. Sure. movies yeah yeah so uh but yeah i probably didn't no yeah. one probably read it they, they weren't going to ruin the illusion for everybody else i can just read it out loud for the whole family I like these isabel... motherfuckers can't read well, so. see, actually i actually remember isabel reading it out loud that's yeah. why oh, no, oh, no, no, i don't so, like, i don't remember memories i grew up super religious so we definitely did not watch any of these films because somehow darth vader was the devil or you know it was somehow it was going <laughs> to corrupt space you space devil the first movie I saw was Return of the Jedi nice. during a uh, tax tech tax testing week. Mm-hmm. We were all in a room and one kid standardized brought, tests. Uh, br- yeah, sorry for everyone not oh, in Texas yeah, and yeah. not our age. It's a standardized test. Super super easy. They paused this at this moment. They're like, "What the fuck?" Look is it up. That? Tax. Yeah. Attack the tax. Um, and so I remember Attack our principal tax. dressed up as Darth Vader. And told us to use the force, which I thought was so cool. I was like, "You may the force be with you." And yeah, I was like, I'm gonna go so force cool. it out in the restroom because I'd never seen the movies. And I was like, "Oh, he's the bad guy. Why is he <laughs> running yeah. around telling people to do well on their tests?" But the first movie I saw was Return of the Jedi. It was on a VHS that someone sl- slid in. So and you I, saw I never, that he wasn't the bad guy, though. Yeah, at the that, end of that yeah, one. You're like, ruined, "Oh, he's the hero." Kind of ruined everything. And I remember <laughs> seeing they were that's they're rebuilding the Death Star at that point. And the budget, you can tell, was bigger, so they had rows and rows of stormtroopers everywhere. And I remember seeing that specifically where he's getting mad because it's not getting rebuilt quick enough and being like, whoa, they need to construct whatever he's telling us because yeah, he's they, fucking – They need to get to work. That's my fucking principle. <laughs> but it was so insane. And then obviously I had to sneak in watching them at friends' houses. And I think I went to the theater to see – You're like, my uh, friends didn't even know I was there. I know. <laughs> I just snuck in and just watched them and, watch it. And by friends, I mean <laughs> random people. <laughs> Um, cause yeah, it was kind of weird cause I had to hit, hide it from my parents and like geek out. Um, and I ended up watching, I think attack of the clones and the last, uh, Jedi. Uh, <laughs> no, no, the last one, no. The revenge of the Sith. And yeah, revenge of the Sith, Sith in theaters, just thinking that they were the best things in the world, but. You had to sneak into those? I didn't sneak into them. I, I went with like birthday. I would not tell my mom what uh, the movie okay, so was. So you were going to go watch. Yeah, mom, I'm going to go watch the passion of the Christ. <laughs> And she's we actually, like, all right, cool. That's apparently much better for you. I actually have a memory. My <laughs> Less first traumatic. Was that your first Star Wars film that you saw in theaters? Was episode one? Attack of the Clones was. Attack I didn't watch Phantom okay, Menace yeah. in theaters. I watched um, the first Star Wars movie I saw in theaters was actually Empire Strikes Back because I remember going to the. Um, Holy fuck! Well, no, no, no. I mean, he went back in time, baby. <laughs> you know, 1981. The, the special edition re release in '96. Okay, we there saw, you go. We saw that. Yeah. I saw that in theaters. Yeah. You I know remember what? Going that, with my sister. That was a really big deal when they redid it and added. More aliens, baby. Yeah, I remember we we had a choice to watch either of the three movies that were out, but like we chose Empire Strikes Back because at the time they're like, well, this is the one with the most new scenes in it. So like we went there and we watched it. And it more was, bang for your buck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there, there's I remember watching that you know where he fights the um the fucking what's it called that little thing in the the ham. This is the not wampa. A good, the, 
Is it the Wampa? The one that's the in snow the, creature? Yeah, the snow the creature. Wampa. Wow. We should probably get our um, terminology right. Uh, I have my this. terminology down just fine. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so very do much. I. Wait till we talk about. Oh, wait till we talk about the fucking uh, moist, moist, mo- moist farmers. <laughs> I can talk. To, I can tell you exactly what those machines do. <laughs> how um, much they get paid. Yeah, so it was really cool watching that in theaters and stuff like that. And then I think that's why probably Empire Strikes Back is probably like my favorite. I guess because yeah. I actually saw it in theaters and also like it's also one of the best ones. So yeah, it's like also you like and everybody else. In maybe in general, it's like one of the yeah. best shot movies of all time. I realized we said moist farmers instead of moisture farmers so now people are just thinking of like no i was talking about moist farmers oh okay cool (laughs) yeah i also farming moisture i remember wanting so much more and after uh revenge of the sith i uh went and i grabbed i read uh the timothy zahn read the the i read heir to the empire yeah with the grand admiral thrawn and mara jade and i was like this is the best thing in the world i read those darth vader hardcore comic books and just Got as much as hardcore. I could, baby. Yeah, they were porn. It was like hardcore Darth Vader fanfic. comic yeah. books. Fanfic. I would this, um, and the Spaceballs, of course. Spaceballs is yeah, a big yeah, deal, too. Yeah. He had the we, biggest pair of Spaceballs. So me and um, Delphine, you and I like kind of like do filmmaking stuff. Uh, I yeah, oh, I yeah, say I for a living. I made a Star Wars episode... <laughs> Yeah, episode like, two. Sure. Oh yeah, we're that, doing the next one. Well, I was asking, like, what, did that influence you as a filmmaker at all? Like, did that want to make you make movies? I would say not the movies, but the behind the, scene the scenes features yeah. mm-hmm. of these movies are insane, and they kind of introduce you to the first AD, who you wouldn't even know as a kid was a thing, but they would follow him around all day. And to George Lucas's credit. He let them film everything, the good stuff, the bad stuff, test screenings. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we're going to talk about Phantom Menace first, but they did. They continued that. Clone Wars had it. Um, of course, I don't know if that happens now with, with the Disney uh, Star Wars movies. Def- I don't think so, yeah. But it definitely influenced the kinds of movies I liked. And in terms right. of mm-hmm. genre and archetypes and just heroes in general, like you can't get any grander than yeah, Star exactly. Wars. Exactly. I think that, yeah, I think it, it it's... It made me appreciate movies more. I'm not sure if that was one of the things that inspired me to be like to oh, wanting yeah. to pursue filmmaking. Because like, John, that's, like in your exactly. head, if you thought you could make Star Wars, exactly. That's that's the exactly that's where I was going for. Like, it's like you you can't like you can't have it in your head. Like, I want to make that. Like, because yeah. that's kind of crazy. Like, you know, I don't think Lucas had that in mind too when he he like, still didn't. And yeah. he, he talks about it. Uh, I think with uh, Phantom Menace. Uh, I mean, he says like we, yeah. he's like we could he's screw like, it up. Yeah, like we could screw it up. We've done it before. I, like, I, this isn't Titan- Titanic and Star Wars. They're like once in a. He's like no I'm, one knows when that things like. He's that like happen. I made five cents on more American graffiti. Yeah. He's like and Ugh. no one watched it. But I'm super excited to talk about this pod. We're gonna have so many fun guests. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about behind the scenes stuff, but I also just want to talk about these movies and these characters that live in this world that uh, is coming somewhat to an end with the the, the rise, of, rise of Skywalker. Because yeah. if it, now that we know that. You know, the, these original films were supposed to be longer, and then he was able to explore the prequels, and now we're we're, we're at in a, the sequels. We're in the sequels, yeah. and it's it's a long time coming. But we'll see if there's more to the expanded universe. But it's definitely supposed to be the end of at least this giant storyline, which yeah. I'm all for. Of the Skywalker saga, nice. But yeah, so every week, uh, so here's a couple things uh, to tell you. Um, all of these episodes are coming out earlier on Patreon, Patreon.com/slash DelphinPod, and then uh, every week, uh, starting next week, you'll be hearing. Us talk about these movies in order. So if The Phantom Menace comes out next week, and then Attack of the Clones, and then so on and so forth, ending with The Rise of Skywalker, super highly anticipated. We may, I don't know, we haven't decided yet if we're going to talk about, I think we should, but I don't know where they would fall in order. Where? Um, the the spinoff movies. Well, I thought or, we were doing those. I thought yeah. we were like okay, cool, actually. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah. You're like, oh, thanks yeah, for telling yeah. me. Of course we are. Because there's also a lot. I mean, there's the the Clone Wars. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I'm like, not talking about a lot. <laughs> not, the, not the TV show, but the movie. We're gonna do the video games. The video games. games. Okay, so we the should probably comments. clarify that we're gonna do every live action Star Wars movie like right now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So um, we will talk. I do want to talk a lot about the Clone Wars in general. Yeah. So like, Christmas I think we'll special. get to that. I think maybe Attack of the Clones. Christmas special is fun too. Attack of the Clones and fuck no. Well, I guess we we might just do that. You don't want to see a actually Chewie's yes. Kids? We should totally do that as a as a Patreon. You don't like, want to see episode. Leia singing. <laughs> um, all coked up the treehouse. <laughs> um, I watched that whole fucking thing. So, whew, um, yeah, I do want to talk Clone Wars though. Like, I think we should do that on the episode two yeah. or three episode. In yeah. some ways, the they really were. I mean, they helped continue the for a long time. The Clone Wars was the thing. Like. I mean, it's, it's until until Disney they're, bought the, it yeah. still is. Yeah. They're bringing them they're back, yeah. back, like a seventh season. How much oh, yeah, shit happened yeah. before, mm-hmm. like episode three? Goddamn, yeah, like a lot. A lot I, apparently, I really enjoyed the uh, kind of anime-looking Clone Wars for however long they lasted. Oh, you talking about the, the little shorts, the, the animated ones on mm-hmm. Cartoon Network? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Those are good. Those are pretty cool. Anyways, guys, uh, reach out to us at Delphin Pod. Uh, we may have some listener review episodes. Let us know what your favorite moments are, but we're super excited to talk about Star Wars, another Disney property. <laughs> <laughs> we did the Marvel one. Or doing corporate this one. Disney next? Uh, The next one is The Simpsons. I Countdown know. to Springfield. Countdown to Poundtown. Pixar. Bye. <laughs>